Of course, we have a new IRS. Why do I say that? Well, we already had one IRS, but now it's been doubled with an $80 billion budget increase. And we have a spanking brand new IRS agent army. Because although we already had an army, it got doubled too. This one may be armed. Remember the old chewing gum ad? Double your flavor, double your fun. Well, here we are. Get ready. And in spite of the economic slump, small business pass-throughs get a $53 billion last-minute tax hike. American corporations get a $222 billion tax hike. Senior retirements... Government pensioners and all the rest of us with 401ks or IRAs, well, we get a $74 billion tax hike. Everyone is going to get a $250 billion cost increase, that from prescription drug price controls. And the CBO and the Joint Tax Committee, that's the government scorekeepers, well, they've shown that not only is there no inflation reduction, but the bulk of these tax hikes and the IRS Army will fall on middle and lower income taxpayers. And you know those greeny EV tax credits? Well, Ford just jacked up its price for the F-150 Lightning Pro by $7,000. But none of them will probably be available because the lithium and nickel and other commodities necessary for the batteries are all made in China. And since the greenies won't let America mine for its own natural resources, we're going to be out of luck. The net net of this net zero nonsense is that Americans will be poorer and far less competitive in world markets. Is that really what we want?